Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a journey. I know a place where the grass is really greener. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I am using something different for filming, and this is my MacBook Pro. So I thought that this has been a long and delayed video that I should have done a while ago, but is my tag for my go-to products. So I guess I'll start with the ones that I typically grab any time in the morning. So I guess the first thing I would look for is concealer. I need to conceal under my eye and usually around my mouth here. And I always grab my MAC one here and this is a uh, NC30 this is perfect for under eye so I'm almost out but I'm just gonna bear with it so after my concealer the my typical foundation that I've been using for quite a while now that I'm really loving and I haven't switched off from is my Dior forever foundation and this is really good for summer when I have want to have a full coverage and not want to be so oily so I really like this next I would say oh I forgot for skincare is my moisturizer and the moisturizer I would say I would be using is my Shiseido white lucent they changed the packaging and everything so it's even more prettier but they jacked up the prices too so I was like oh. but still it's a brightening moisturizing gel it's so good I recommend this for people who have oily skin. It's really good moisturizer. Basically, it doesn't have to be Shiseido or basically any moisturizers that are gel based are perfect for oily skin. So, you can tell it's very water based. I love it. This is my third batch. I know I'm supposed to do a review on this, and sorry guys, I will. I will. Um, let's see. My next one I'm going to do would be my eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I would have to say is my MAC. It's not spiked, but as you can tell, it's all gone in my makeup case. So this is spiked. And I think it's perfect for my eyebrows. Perfect color. Um, I don't think it's too dark or too light or anything. It matches. I think it's pretty good for me. Um, and it's affordable. So a good eyebrow pencil. MAC. Next, I would say, what would be? I guess I can do eyeliner. My go-to eyeliner here is my Revlon, and this is um, Color Stay. So I've been using this for years, since high school, so this has never gone wrong. I'm wearing it right now. Yeah, it stays on. It doesn't, um, it usually doesn't transfer up here. But if I'm just going to be wearing eyeliner by, by itself, I have to put, um, po what's it called? Primer potion still <laughs> when I'm wearing eyeliner. So, because it does transfer. So, eyeliner. Now, mascara. I would have to say is my Buxom. Um, of course it's faded. Still the B, but it's supposed to be... B U X O M. I got it from Sephora. This is an awesome, awesome mascara because first off, look, I can see. Oh wait, that's not a good way. Look how big that is. It's perfect for your lashes because it fits all of it, and it really fattens it up. So it's really good for thickening and for volumizing. It's really good. And it lasts a while. So buxom. Um, next, I would have to say is like bronzers and stuff. For bronzers, lately, I've been leaning towards two of two items. So I would have to say my MAC Refined Golden. This is from the permanent collection oh no it's not I'm not sure but it's um from the style warrior you can see there it's a beautiful color 
I love it. See? It's pretty matte. There's some kind of gold shimmer freckle undertone there. I think it's really beautiful. I love this. I put this on my cheeks. I'm wearing a little bit, but it kind of came off when the dentist was rubbing my face <laughs> when they were cleaning my teeth. So, yeah. So, that one. The second one would have to be um, Chanel. I know this might not count because I recently kind of got it, but it is still my go-to because I've been grabbing it. And I know I'll be grabbing it because what I love about it is that, see, isn't it cute? It's my first Chanel. There. It's pretty. It has a brush in the inside. And I use it. So the dark side here is for, like, applying the color. And this light color here. Is for blending it but I really love this I love this Ooh, I wonder if you can see it's hard for me to show there see it's a really pretty color I love it so that is my bronzer next would be blush I love 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 wearing my X rocks lately and um, I've been using it for almost everything so for parties and stuff I use my Mac X rocks every day especially if I'm doing smoky look I like to do this it's kind of like a plum color but brown I love it it has a nice I love how there's a brownish undertone to it so it looks like a nice dark bronzer next is eyeshadow I love 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 this I'm gonna rave about it it's crazy good this is my Bates Collection Baked Sands from Physician's Formula. I heard about this from Fafnetics 3 and I tried it out and it's awesome. I love it. You can tell the dome is kind of flat now. But I use all of these colors. These are good for every day, especially when I'm in a rush because it's all together in a set. And there, I'm good to go. So I love this. It's a beautiful finish I just love it um, next is for lip gloss lip gloss I always have to wear any kind of dazzle glass so these ones are my kind of like everyday ones so this one is moth to flame and it's kind of like almost gone and this is my like Venus so when I'm wearing a pink lipstick this is basically what I pair stuff with my nudes and my pinks yeah and Lipstick wise, um, I usually tend to grab. If I can grab it, um, my Airy Fairy. If you want to talk about drugstore, Airy Fairy, it's a beautiful one. And this is from Rimmel. Lots of girls from YouTube are using this, so I thought this was a great pick. And my blankety lipstick. If I can find it for MAC. So this is Amplified and I'm wearing it right now. So yeah, those are my go-to products. So if you guys have any questions or anything, um, let me know. Leave a comment. I really miss making videos. I have, I'm going to be making some more again. So peace.